In this video, we will learn about frontogenesis, what it is and why it is important. Let's get into it. For anyone that saw my previous video on the ozone layer, this one's going to be a bit more complicated, so let's define a few terms first. Term definitions. A front is a boundary separating air masses of several characteristics such as air density, wind, and humidity. Disturbed weather often arises from these differences. We often see fronts in pairs of a warm front and a cold front. Convergence and divergence roughly determine where the air will be sinking or rising. The geostrophic wind is the theoretical wind that would result from an exact balance between the major forces in the atmosphere. The thermal wind is the difference in the upper layer and lower layer geostrophic wind and is critical for predicting the weather. What is frontogenesis? Frontogenesis is the generation or intensification of a front. It occurs when warm air converges onto colder air and the horizontal temperature gradient amplifies by at least an order of magnitude. Whenever a region experiences horizontal convergence and uplift, any pre-existing gradient will increase. A prerequisite for frontogenesis is that the atmosphere is baroclinic, which means the temperature reduction occurs. In the atmosphere, this convergence and uplift tends to be focused along narrow lines, which then become fronts. Sometimes other boundaries form, separating areas with distinctly different dew points, for instance, but boundaries are not referred to as fronts because dynamically they don't behave like a front. A temperature difference is essential in the definition of a front because it implies a density difference. A good example of a non-frontal boundary is the dry line, which is often present as a meridional line through western Texas in spring and summer. It separates dry air to the west from humid air to the east. A similar boundary sometimes occurs in northern Argentina. Frontogenesis is possible, in theory, without convergence and uplift. It is possible that the streamlines of air come together without uplift, or differential heating in calm air can produce a temperature gradient, i.e. is frontogenetic. But in practice, fronts correspond to lines of convergent flow and uplift. There are two types of fronts, mesoscale ones and synoptic scale ones. The latter are most widely known, and they're the ones that are shown on surface weather charts. Why is it important? Frontogenesis is important because it causes an imbalance in the thermal wind, which causes an adjustment in the geostrophic wind aloft and below such that regions of divergence or convergence will form. There are several factors that influence the final shape and tilt of the circulation around the front, ultimately determining the type and location of clouds and precipitation. Understanding frontogenesis is very important to properly predicting weather in the mid-latitudes. Thank you so much for watching this video. This video was created for University of Washington's Atmospheric Science 442 class with Professor Dargan Fireson. So thank you to him for approving this project. And uh, please check out the sources cited in the video in the description below. And yep, thank you so much. Hope to see you back again soon.